In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a radiator on a G35 Infinity. Go ahead and remove the under splash tray right now. Our vehicle does not have one. Open up the radiator cap and remove it and the coolant will drain faster. To drain the coolant, we're going to open up this little valve using a Phillips head screwdriver. To loosen it up. Make sure you have a drain bucket under you before you take this out. We don't need to drain the whole thing, just enough so that we can take the upper hose off without spilling coolant everywhere. Once you have a good amount of coolant drained out, we're going to replace that little plug. Put it back in. Then we're going to snug it down. Pull back the lower radiator hose clamp and pull this hose off. Remove the clamp for the overflow hose, slide it back. And pull the hose off the radiator. The clamp off the upper radiator hose. Remove that hose from the radiator. Remove the 10 millimeter bolts for the fan shroud. Remove the connector for the cooling fan. There's a little tab at the top. Press on that and pull back. We need that on this one as well. Push the tab and remove the connector. Undo the clamp on the transmission cooler line for the radiator. We're going to remove this hose. There's going to be some fluid that comes out, so I have a bucket under you. I'm going to point these up to try and minimize the amount of fluid that I'm going to lose. Do the same thing on the other cooler line. Remove the fan assembly. Twist these locking caps 90 degrees and remove them. These are the locks for the radiator. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to go through the front radiator support. There's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt behind there attaching the condenser to the radiator. Go ahead and remove that bolt. Remove the bolt from the car. Do the same thing on the other side.
remove the 10 millimeter bolt for the coolant overflow tank. We're gonna pull that up into the side. This just gives us more room to be able to drop this radiator back. Move the 10 millimeter bolt for the air box. Loosen the clamp. And remove the MAF sensor connector. And then pull your air filter slash box out. Undo the 10 millimeter bolt for this line clamp. Just bend this clamp open to give you a little bit more room. Push the radiator towards the car. And we're gonna slightly pick up on the condenser, slide it forward, and get the little feet out of the radiator. And then remove the radiator. Install the radiator into the car. Pick up the condenser and drop it into the brackets on the radiator, like that. Take the old top grommet off, do the same thing on the other side, and install them onto the new radiator. Install the 10 millimeter bolts for the AC condenser. And do the same thing on the other side. Install the top locks for the radiator. Install this bracket back around the AC line. Install the bolt. Install your air box. We only have a pod filter in our case. Snug down the clamp. Install your MAF sensor connector. Slide the coolant bottle into its bracket down here. Put in your bolt and then snug it down. and install the transmission cooler hose. And then slide the clamp into place. Install the trans cooler line. If you lost an excessive amount of transmission fluid while taking the lines off and putting them back on, be sure to top the transmission fluid off. And then slide the clamp into place. Install the lower radiator hose.
and install the clamp. Install the fan assembly into the car. Install the bolt for the fan assembly. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the upper radiator hose. Grab the clamp. Put it back on. Grab the overflow tank hose. Put that onto the radiator and move that little clamp back. Install the connectors for the fan motors. Push until you hear a click. Give it a little pull, make sure it's really in there. At this point, go ahead and install your bottom splash shield if your car has one. Going to install a funnel to refill our coolant. Once the car stops bubbling, go ahead and start your car with the radiator cap off. Let it run for about 10 to 15 minutes and bleed the coolant. Once the coolant's bled, remove your funnel if you're using one. and reinstall the radiator cap. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.